to be in sixth. That's Umbro Oliver, an Umbro proposal, then Goliath Bayama, and Aces and Sevens was last away. Chem Ocean, Electric Stena, Gallo Blue Chip is driving up on the outside, Electric Stena clears. Gallo Blue Chip is still out there the first turn. Chem Ocean back in third, Cami Vest is fourth, Intrepid Sealster fifth, Electric Stena, Gallo Blue Chip takes over, 26 and two the opening quarter, and Gallo Blue Chip and Dan Dubé have made the lead after parking the first three eighths. Electric Stena, Jackie Banner, rates him back in second in the pocket. Cam Ocean is third, Cami Vest is fourth. Intrepid Sealster staying in from fifth, and Royal Flush Hanover goes first over from sixth. Umbro Oliver is seventh. Umbro Proposal stayed in from eighth. Second to last is Goliath Bayama. Goliath Bayama ninth on the outside, and aces and sevens was tenth. 55 and two was the half. Gallo Blue Chip was 29 seconds in the second quarter and leads it by a length and a half on Electric Stena to the final turn. Royal Flush Hanover is inching in on the outside and Waple still has him under a tight rein. Cam Ocean is fourth. Armbro Oliver fifth on the outside but gapped by two in his cover. Cami Best is sixth. Goliath Bayama improved again. Seventh on the outside ahead of Intrepid Sealster. Aces and sevens and trailing was Armbro Proposal. Gallo Blue Chip. Royal Flush Hanover. Electric Stena. Gallo Blue Chip and Electric Stena through the stretch, 123 and 2, 28 seconds in the third. Gallo Blue Chip is stepping into the history books on Canadian soil. He won the North America Cup. He won the Breeders' Crown. Now he's the richest pacer of all time. All hail Gallo Blue Chip by three over Royal Flush Hanover and Electric Stena in 150. Oh, Gallo Blue Chip, another all-world effort. Return to Mohawk's winner's circle was number four, Gallo Blue Chip. The magical Mike, four-year-old bay gelding from Camatross, owned by Martin Scharf of Lawrence, New York, trained by Mark Ford, and driven to victory by Danielle Dubé. Eight wins and 15 starts this year. More importantly, he becomes the richest pacer in world history, surpassing the $3.2 million plus previously held by Naya Tross. Gallo Blue Chip is now the richest pacer in world history. And he did it right here at Mohawk Racetrack with the winner's circle of the placard presentation by Mr. Hugh Mitchell, Senior Vice President of Racing for Woodbine Entertainment at Woodbine and Mohawk to the connections of the highest earning pacer ever, Gallo Blue Chip. And you're going to see him back here again next week in the Canadian Pacing Derby. Just as you did in last year's North America Cup and here at Mohawk in the Breeders' Crown. Stand by. Our Greg Blanchard is in the Mohawk Winter Circle. <laughs>